uh, self-control. Today, um, briefly, what I want to uh, say to you, and I know God has put this in my spirit to give it to you today, it is to face your anger. And what I mean by face your anger, when and all of us, we're facing some situation, we're facing something that that has our attention and, and it's and it's causes us to focus on it. And because it's causing us to focus on it, it's causing us the, the warfare and the things that we're trusting God or we're holding up or we are believing God to come through the, the bondage or the warfare, the, the trials, the tribulations that we're presently in, it becomes heavier and heavier and heavier. And, and what happens, it has a, 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 a way of causing us to lose our focus. And what will happen is that frustration will come in and try to get us off of our game and cause us to try to lose our focus. But what I want to do today, I want to refocus you and to get you to face your anger. And if I could explain, the Bible says in James, I believe it is, first uh, James 1 and 19. James 1 and 19 says, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak. In other words, when you're hearing someone, there should be a pause between you hearing it and you responding to what you're being, what you're hearing. It's very, you have to be careful. But also when people are talking to you, it's very important when they're talking to you to shut your mind down, meaning your thoughts, what you want to say in response, what you want to say in return. Oftentimes it is louder. The voices in your own spirit and our own spirit is louder than what the person is saying. This is why when you respond, what you respond to the person is not really what they're saying. It's not really the conversation because you are distracted between your mind, your thoughts, and what they're saying. And so this is where the communication issue and communication problem lies. Another thing, me personally, and God taught me this last night. He was teaching me something. At my job, I answer a lot of calls. I serve a lot of people, transportation and whatnot. Last night, yeah, I was frustrated. I was so frustrated that I was for probably about six or seven hours, I probably had about three, 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 three phones ringing at the same time, two, three phones ringing at the same time. And all of them was needing something, need something, need something, need something. And so what I had to do personally, and I saw this and everybody had to be, do this, get this, get this, be there. And so what I had to do in my mind, I had to say, well, I can only do what I can do. And so what I had to do, I had to give certain times to be able to take care of certain people wherein it doesn't drive me crazy. And then it doesn't make me more over emotional where I would do something that I regret or say something that I would regret. And so, so many, so many moments that I was so frustrated, so upset that I had to filter and fight so many thoughts. I had thoughts of being anger, thought, thoughts of being upset, all kind of thoughts that was going through my mind. But what I was trying to do, I was trying to filter those thoughts where those thoughts wouldn't uh, come out of my mouth. And also those thoughts wouldn't become on my expression. See, this is where God want us to be. See, oftentimes, see, when you're in a test, your emotions will talk. See, because your flesh doesn't like it because what's happening, there's a sacrifice that's taking place in the time that you're doing something uh, for God. There's going to come a sacrifice. You're going to have to give up something. Even Jesus said, if any man come after me, he must first deny his flesh and pick up his cross and follow me. And so there's something that must be killed. So in many of you, there's something in you that's being killed. And because of that, you want to lash out to people. You want to cuss the people. You want to say things to people. Uh, you want to say certain things while you're in this pressure because you want to find relief. You want to bite on other people. You want to uh, uh, launch out at other people. But God wants you to keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself and pray to him. Give it to him. See, because you must be careful at this stage, at this place, because your next dimension depends on what comes out your mouth. See, because if you remember with Moses at the brink of his promised land, because he failed that last test, he, he was able to see the promised land, but he can go over into it. And so this test, you must be very careful of how you hold your mouth. See, because things don't come to your mind. See, but it doesn't make you a bad thinker when things come to your mind. What makes you bad or what makes it bad when you entertain what comes to your mind. See, because the Bible says it's not what it's not what goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out of him, thereby he's defiled. Even the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And so there's going to be so many thoughts that's going to come against you or try to get to your head. See, because what you need to realize that the devil, the adversary, he's the accuser of the brother. In other words, he's going to lie and say stuff that's not true. And see, he will come in the form of seed and thoughts and words and your emotion. See, your emotions is not always right. Your emotions come from all kind of places. 
It comes from all kinds of places. Your emotions are like the wind. You don't know which direction. The wind is going to blow in from day to day, from minute to minute. So you can't, you can't base uh, your standards and you can't base truth off of an emotion. But that emotion has to be governed and controlled by God's word. And God's word will control your emotion. And one of the ways that he controls your emotion by being quiet, being swift to hear, and slow to speak. See, because to say the wrong thing, you could lose everything. And so that's my word today. That's my word today. God bless you. Have a good day.